Galanet News Digest, 30th of August, 3304. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Boffin's bid to beat Cone Nebula ban. Socho Raiders blamed for Aegis retreat. Hate campaigner seeks federal office. Ashling and Jordan maintain radio silence. Tharg against humanity. Boffin's bid to beat Cone Nebula ban. Alarmed by the plans of Canon Interstellar to boldly go to the planet of the Coneheads, the Pilots' Federation has this week slapped a permit lock onto the entire Cone sector. The brainy boffins of Canon realised several weeks ago that the massive frameshift capability of their mobile mothership, the Gnosis, meant that they could penetrate deep within the permit-locked Core 70 sector to reach the Cone sector, which is otherwise entirely inaccessible. In preparation for the jump, which is due on the 6th of September, large numbers of cannon scientists and other commanders have filled the Gnosis to the point of overflow, with three ships to a hangar and a number of additional ships taped to the exterior of the Gnosis using gaffer tape. The Pilots' Federation claims to have detected very high numbers of the new and far more powerful Thargoid Hydra interceptors within the Cone Sector and has imposed a total navigation ban. Dr. Arcanon, the dome-headed leader of the space scientists, has issued a defiant statement that the Gnosis will frameshift and be damned, and that the jump will take place as scheduled. Just what will happen when the ship hits the ban is entirely unknown, but it could get messy. Many commanders have been rushing back from the Gnosis to Shinrata to swap their ships for AX-fitted, fully-engineered Xenohunter crates. However, any explorers still planning to take fragile, shieldless, defenceless explorer condors into the Cone Nebula are urged to go right ahead and make Tharg's day. Socho Raiders blamed for Aegis Retreat Three months after the Socho Gold Raiders wrested the Socho system from the hands of the Home Guard Division of Aegis, Aegis Corps has admitted defeat and retreated to safety in Seoul. Announcing the climb down, President Zachary Hudson condemned organisations that fought their fellow man in the face of the overwhelming alien threat, and stated that Aegis Corps would henceforth be kept safe away from all the nasty people in the Seoul system, where only nice people are allowed to go. The President added that Aegis is supposed to be defending humanity, and being unkind to them would no longer be tolerated. Tharg the Mighty, Lord of Polaris, Emperor of the Call 70 Sector and Prince of the Pleiades, is reported to have ordered in a bucket of popcorn. Hate Campaigner Seeks Federal Office Juanita Bishop prominent critic of the peaceful but potty Far God cult, has announced her intention to stand for Congress. Mrs Bishop, who will run as an independent, believes she has a strong base of sympathisers in Federation systems, with broad approval for her message that the Thargoid worshippers should be eliminated. She will stand on a ticket that claims that all Far God members are spies and deviants, and should be removed from society. The Far God cult members appear to be removing themselves from society pretty effectively without Mrs Bishop's help. Vast numbers of sect members have vanished without trace over the past few weeks. However, Far God sympathisers have a chance to express their support for the Thargoid lovers this week, with an appeal to deliver items of Thargoid origin to the Zavijar system. Assurances have been received from the cult that these items will be revered as sacred relics and will not be used for experimentation or for summoning Thargoids. It's unclear whether the Thargoid cult members are aware of how the Thargoid hearts they seek are likely to be gathered by helpful commanders. Ashling and Jordan maintain radio silence. The latest news from the wedding that never happened is nothing. Total silence has emanated with equal lack of volume from both the erstwhile bride-to-be Ashling Duval and one-time groom that never was Jordan Rochester. From the Imperial Palace and the Federal White House, 
there has been not a peep. Although we can imagine a huge sigh of relief coming from both those buildings when the cancellation was announced. Others have been less Trappist. Senator Zemina Torval, never one to mince her words, described it as the mercy killing of a catastrophically bad idea. Journalist Solomon Helios is sure of one thing. Whether the story of the wedding was a tragic love triangle or a political chess game that went badly wrong, it won't be long before publicity-mad Princess Duval returns to the public spotlight she has made her own. Tharg against humanity. Tharg the Mighty has invented a new game. Tharg against humanity is an amusing parlour game, in which players try to complete sentences in an amusing way, using phrases written on the cards in their hand. Tharg has yet to refine the details, but he thinks he's on to a winner. The question card, there is only one, bears the sentence, Tharg will conquer the universe by blank. The answer cards say, crushing the puny meat bags. They all say that. It may lose something in replayability, but this game is right on message. And that's this week's Galanet News. Galanet News, we read the news so you don't have to.